Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Tata Airbus deal has been one of the most successful deal under Make in India initiative. Last year in August, India received a major boost to its aviation sector after cabinet committee on security approved the Tata Airbus deal for 56 twin tower prop C295 medium transport aircraft worth rupees 22000 crore which will replace the old Avro 748 aircraft of Indian Air Force. The induction of C295 will be a significant step towards the modernization of transport fleet of Air Force. The order is expected to go up beyond 56 with requirement from Coast Guard, Navy and other forces to come in next few years. In addition, the aircraft is also likely to be exported from India in near future for overseas customers. As per Tata Airbus deal, 16 of the 56 C295 aircrafts will be delivered in flyaway condition from Spain within 48 months of signing of the contract, which means first 16 C295 will be delivered between September 2023 to 2025, and Indian Air Force will start inducting these aircrafts from next year. The remaining 40 aircrafts will be manufactured in India by Tata consortium within 10 years of signing of the contract that is by September 2031 their deliveries is to be completed now during the defense expo 2022 india has approved space quality management system qms for airbus defense this is the first time that dgq has given qms certification to a foreign aircraft manufacturer The certification of QMS is integral to the manufacture of C295 in India which involves the full development of a complete industrial ecosystem from production of parts to assembly test and qualification to delivery and maintenance of the complete life cycle of the aircraft The new manufacturing facility of Tata will be located at Dolera The government of Gujarat has planned to develop land close to Dolera International Airport for MRO and aviation related facilities MRO stands for maintenance repair and overhaul it's not only the Tata Airbus manufacturing unit that will be set up there but the aviation zone in Dolera will include an aviation academy flight training institute and MRO facilities for airframes engines and C and D checks the Dolera airport will also have two runways of 4000 meters and 2910 meters these would be essential to the flight testing facilities for tata airbus complex after completion of the delivery the subsequent aircraft manufactured in india can be exported to other countries which are cleared by government of india now talking about c295 it is a transport aircraft or a tactical airlifter of 5 to 10 capacity with contemporary technology that will replace the aging avro fleet of air force The aircraft is capable of performing a wide range of missions effectively which includes tactical and logistical transport parachute and cargo drops medical evacuation and maritime patrol the aircraft would have indigenous electronic warfare suite the countermeasure dispensing system cmds will be provided by bdl and the bel will be providing the drdos radar warning receiver and ultraviolet based missile approach warning system for the aircraft The aircraft has a capacity of 73 troops or 48 paratroopers or 12 stretcher intensive care med evac or 27 stretcher med evac with four medical attendants normally its maximum payload is around 7050 kg but can be overloaded to 9250 kg it is capable to take off from short runways of around 1 km in length This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.